Hi friends, my name is Akhil Ahmed and in this particular video tutorial, we will look at the CTE in SQL Server with example. So the agenda of today's video tutorial is, what is CTE in SQL Server? So a common table expression, also known as CTE, is a temporary result set that you can reference within a select, insert, update or delete statement. Think of it as a named temporary table that exists only for the duration of a single query. CT help you break down the complex problems into the simpler, more manageable steps. Uh, mainly, a CTE consists of two parts. The first one is the CTE definition. So this is where you define your CTE. It's like giving your temporary table a name and specifying the columns it will contain. The second one is the CTE usage. So here you can use the CTE in your query, referring to it by using its name and you can join, filter or manipulate data in the CTE just like any other table. So let's understand the CTE with the real life examples. So let's jump to the demo. So I got the SQL Server 2019 instance here and first of all I will create a employees table here and uh, then I will insert some data into the employees table. So in this particular table we are just checking if the employees table exists then drop the employees table, create the employees table and then insert 10 records for the employees table. So let me execute this query. So 10 records got created here for the employees table. So let me select some data from the employees and show you what kind of data it contains. Yeah, so it contains like employees ID, employee name, manager ID and the salary. So every employee has different salary. So now what I want to do, I want to get a list of 5 employees with the highest salary, like the salary in the descending order. So the highest salary employee will come at the top, then the second highest salary employee will come on the second position and then the third highest salary employee will come at the third position and so on. So I just want a list of the top 5 employees with the highest salary. So we can do this using the CTE along with the row number function. Okay. So we need to use the row number function here. So let me try to use the row number function. How we use the row number function? Uh, we can write row number over order by salary DESC because I want to get the salary in the descending order and I want to call this particular column as uh, maybe RN. Okay. So if I execute this particular query, then it generated a row number here, like row number one for the highest employee salary then the row number two for the second highest salary then the row number three for the third highest salary and so on so i just want the top five employees from this particular list so that i can get the highest salary for the top five employees okay so i got a new column here rn column here so what i just want to do i just want to get uh, the employees where the rn value will be less than equal to five okay so suppose if I try to uh, you know use this particular query in the where statement then it won't allow me to use this one. Suppose I use the row number here where row number is less than equal to 5 then I will get an error that windows functions can only appear in the select or the order by clauses okay. So I cannot use the uh, row number function in the where clause okay. So that's why we need to use the CTE here. So I can just remove this one. So how I can use the CTE? I need to write uh, with CTE okay and instead of CTE you can write anything here with CTE as parenthesis start and then we need to end the parenthesis as well okay. So this is the definition of the CTE okay. It will select the data from the employees table and now I want to select the data so it created a temporary result set with the name as CTE okay. So now I can select the data from the CTE so I can write like select star from CTE. So if I execute this query, so this is returning the same data from the employees table along with one extra column, you know, which we created here in the CTE. Now here I can easily filter out the records. Suppose I want the top five records with the highest salary. So I can write a condition here where RN is less than equal to five. So this will select the data, you know, so it filtered out the data. So we can easily use the row number functions in the CTE and we can filter out the data accordingly. Okay. Now suppose I do not want this RN function. So instead of the star, I can just write the uh, column names like employee ID, employee name and manager ID, 
okay and then the salary so if i execute this query then rn will be removed from the select statement so this is the desired result set that i wanted and now let me give you another example suppose if sometimes we need to remove the duplicate records then we can also use the ct in that particular scenario so i have some data in the uh, products table so let me just uh, drop the products table if exists then create the products table and then insert some data into the products table and i will share all the sql queries that i am using here all the create table statement and all the select queries i will share with you okay so let me execute this particular query and it should have created a products table so i can just select the data from the products table okay so, yeah so these are the records so this particular table contains some duplicate records so the product id is unique however if you look at the product name for example laptop is here and this is here as well tablet is here and this is here as well so the some of the product name they are duplicate okay so what i want to do i just want to get the list of the duplicate records and maybe i just want to remove the duplicate records as well okay so how i can uh, get the list of the duplicate records i can use a row number function here uh, row number okay over so now i want to check the duplicate records based on the product name so i can write partition by uh, product name product name and order by uh, maybe i can write the product id okay product id and this new column will be called as rn okay so if i execute the select query now so this will uh, add a new column rn and it will give a value 2 to the duplicate record so you can see that where rn is not 1 this is duplicate so the laptop this is duplicate and then the tablet this is also duplicate okay so now i can easily figure out like what are the duplicate records so i can use the cte here like with cte as uh, parenthesis start parenthesis close and then i can use this select query inside the cte and now i can select the data from the cte where rn is greater than one okay so this will return the duplicate records okay so these are the duplicate records so suppose if you want to remove the duplicate record so you can simply re replace the select star with a delete query like delete from ct where rn is greater than one so this will remove the duplicate record so if i execute this one so two rows affected and now this has deleted the duplicate records from the products table so if i execute the select query again so you can see that now all the rn are one so it means that the duplicate records have been deleted earlier there were 10 records in the table and now we got only 8 records okay so this is how you can use the cte in the simplest form this is how you can use the cte in the select statements i showed you like how you can use the cte in the delete query so you can also use it in the insert query update query so maybe i can uh, show you like more examples like how we can use it in the insert statement or in the update statement and how we can use the multiple cte in a sql query so maybe we can create further videos on the CT like maybe the how we can use the multiple CT and maybe how we can use the CT in the update or in the insert queries okay and you can download all the SQL queries that I used here from the link in the description of the video yeah so I think that's it for today's video thank you guys for watching the video and if you like the video then please click the like button do subscribe to our channel press the bell icon and click on all so that you will be notified every time I upload a new video thank you so much